This repair procedure begins by removing any old, damaged, or excess adhesive from under and around the lifted pad. Gently lift the pad and scrape away the old adhesive using an X-Acto knife or similar tool. Be careful not to damage the pad or trace. Use a small, stiff, bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol to scrub the area. The alcohol will suspend the debris and adhesive particles in the liquid for easy removal. With a lint-free cloth or Kim wipe, wipe the area clean. Select a small piece of dry adhesive, slightly larger in size than the area being repaired. Slip the adhesive into place under the pad to be repaired and trim the adhesive to the proper size. You can use tweezers to gently hold the pad and the adhesive in place while you trim around the pad. Notice as the excess dry adhesive strip is removed from the area, a small portion of the adhesive remains under the pad. The excess dry adhesive film can be removed from the repair area. Next, ensure that the trimmed piece of dry adhesive is in place under the pad, and then apply a strip of polyimid tape over the pad to be repaired. Verify that the pad and dry adhesive are still in the proper location, and smooth out any air bubbles from under the tape. You could use the back of a tweezers or other flat object to smooth the area. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for heating and activating the dry film adhesive. In this video, your instructor is using a heated soldering iron to activate the adhesive and adhere the pad to the circuit board. The amount of time the area is heated may vary from one manufacturer to another. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for the repair system which you are using. Gently peel the tape away from the repaired pad. Clean the area by scrubbing with a small, stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the area dry with a lint-free cloth. Inspect the repair to ensure that the pad is secure on the circuit board. This pad repair is now complete.